Recall that I said that there's a strict relationship between the angles and a triangle. They're supplementary. They add up to 180. And I think I mentioned offhand that there's not really any equivalent rule except maybe the Pythagorean theorem. And actually, I miss, I forgot something, and that's the triangle inequality. Because this is something that uh, governs the relative sizes of tri sides in a triangle. You can't just pick any arbitrary three sides for a triangle. Because sometimes, if you, with certain combinations, they won't actually fit together physically to be a triangle. So there's a rule governing this. So let's talk about... Uh, some kind of triangle. Let's not make it a right triangle because that confuses things. Let's just do something like this. So let's say our triangle looks something like this and uh, one side is 4, one side is 11, and the other side is x. And I want to know what could x be. So as I vary the angle in between these two sides, right, as this goes up, as I increase it, make it more obtuse, or as I make it more acute, what happens to the side x? We know it's going to increase or decrease accordingly, but what are the limits, right? Can I just make it, you know, as close to zero as I want? Can I make it as long as I want? What are the limits? And the limits to cut right to the chase, if this is all you're interested in, you can watch this part and stop the video. This side x has got to be greater than or equal to, or actually, sorry, just greater than, the difference of the two sides, and it's got to be less than the sum. And that's it. So my x can be you know, it's got to be greater than 7, but it's got to be less than 15. So that's the quick rule. So it's, you can imagine if I have just some triangle, that's a terrible picture, with sides x, y, and a. This side a has got to be greater than the difference and smaller than the sum. Now, if you want to know why, because this is a good way to remember it, if you don't remember this, you can remember the explanation. Why is this the case? Let's take this triangle over here. What happens as I increase this side right here? Well, I increase it, maybe it looks like this, and now this is 4, and this is 11, and this is getting even longer. So I keep stretching it out, so you know maybe it's like this angle is like 179.99. So this is 4, and this is 11. What happens when I make this flat, so 180 degrees? Well, this is 4, and this is 11, but notice this isn't a triangle anymore. I can't draw any side, any straight line from either one of these points to connect the triangle, except, in some sense, the line that's already drawn. And notice that is a length of 15. So when the side, so to speak, this blue third side, which isn't even a side because it's not a triangle, when this thing is 180, that side is 15. And any longer than 15, it's not going to fit either, right? So notice as soon as though I take my two sides and I increase the angle just by a little bit, so here, 179.99, I am able to, very carefully, connect the two sides. And this is going to be something less than 15, right? Can't be 15 because that's when it's completely open. But as soon as I close it, it's going to be less than 15. And that's where it's got to be less than 15 comes from. How about the other thing? What happens when I close this? So as I close this angle, side x gets shorter and shorter. So this is 4 and this is 11. I close it even more. This is 4. This is 11. And then eventually at some point, when this is 0 degrees, what happens? Well, what happens is here's my side of 11. Here's my side of 4. They kind of collapse on each other. And the difference between the two sides is 7, right? Here's my third side, so to speak, that connects the two uh, ends of the, the sides. But notice that's not a triangle. So what I have to do is slowly, smallly increase the size of the angle in between 4 and 11. And when I do that, if I open it up just enough, I can connect the sides. And notice this side is going to have to be smaller or greater than that 7, right? Because we're just slowly opening it up. So it's going to get bigger than that 7. And that's where the other end comes from. So that's the physical explanation for it. If that helps you, great. If not, that's fine. The whole point is to, you know, first off, memorize this. And if you need to, recreate it uh, using this explanation.